Parents and art teachers came to the Philadelphia Sketch Club for the finale of the 1985 Energy Art Contest. That's a competition sponsored by the Sketch Club of Philadelphia Electric. And uh, the Sketch Club of Phil and Philadelphia Electric. Put the and in there. The idea is to portray energy forms and processes through the aesthetic eye. Philadelphia, the week-long meetings will end uh, Sunday, actually, with a memorial service at JFK Plaza. For two Philadelphia high school uh, students, the lessons learned from the Holocaust will never be forgotten. These paintings are grim reminders of Hitler's concentration camps, paintings that express the terror and the death on a scale unparalleled in history. The creators of these paintings aren't survivors of the Holocaust, yet the details are extremely vivid. The experiences they draw from aren't personal, but absorbed. They were painted by Delaware Valley High School students, and they were singled out tonight by the Memorial Committee for the Six Million Jewish Martyrs, among dozens of paintings. Two brothers from the Philadelphia High School for the Creative and Performing Arts won first place. Juan and Roberto Gomez poured their emotions on canvas, and they drew their impressions from a number of sources. Roberto was inspired by a film on the Holocaust. I saw all the terror what Hitler did, and with that, I, I put my drawings, you know, my drawings was my feeling about that film and what Hitler did. And that's basically all my emotions in there, because my art will express what I feel. Juan Gomez's painting has within it a message of a world watching the Holocaust silently. The world is watching. In coordination with that, you see the eyes ignoring. Because when the immigrants was going to come to America, the president didn't want nobody to come in. So they were sent back. So it was a tragedy in a sense. They are inspiring paintings. And by the way, the paintings will be on display at the Gomez's school.